He's happy to be a part of this. This, uh, we need to discuss this at our next meeting. Um, we had Bosco, the elf on, as everyone recalls, in last week's YouTube installment. Um, which has been deemed by many to be the worst video on the internet. That's, I voted for that. No, as that's well. a lie. I was one of those. He folks. has turned in, he's a breakout star. And you, could take over the title of internet sensation. You're, you're, uh, <laughs> uh, you're saying that to hurt me and it's not fair. Um, today he's wearing his snowman pajamas. So, but at least he's quiet. He is. It is kind of a weird. Oh, okay. He loves it. Hi. He also loves my lip gloss because it smells good. <laughs> you son of a bitch. <laughs> um, he's staring you down right everybody, now. Everybody, he wants to sit in this chair. Everybody loved that fucking video last week, and you people don't understand what you do when you compliment things like that. All right. She's crazy. So now prepare for this. It's just fucking weeks upon weeks of outfit changes on a dog. Um, I, and then I walk in. Oh, this is my favorite. <laughs> I walk in today, and she's holding the dog who's wearing pajamas, and she immediately starts criticizing my clothing. It's, it's Sunday. No big deal. So I'm just wearing a t-shirt. Uh, and immediately, five seconds, you start... Giving me shit. And then Bosco's like your little lab dog. Like, seriously, what is with that shirt? <laughs> I'm just like, fuck both of you. <laughs> I'm very unhappy. Well, this has just started out. Well, listen. It's been a rough day. Thing. It's been a rough day. Has it? Um, <laughs> well, this is, I feel like we're going to get an odd rating. <laughs> this is going to go to a website that will get you arrested. <laughs> Uh, you, on the other hand, I see are dressed to support the cowboys that are in town. I'm drinking beer and I'm wearing a plaid shirt. It is rodeo. Celebrate rodeo week. It is rodeo week. We'll probably get into this a little bit uh, during the podcast today. I've been doing stand up all week, and the cowboys are out and about. Yeah, they've taken over it's, the city, the strip, I should say. Yeah, and it's oh, and we, I mean, we didn't go downtown. Thank God, mm-hmm. but. There, there's like three hotbeds for the Cowboys during this week. You got downtown, Fremont Street. Uh, oh, that's the legs. Oh, two, two are we legs. still doing that? or? Sorry. I just thought I'd point it out. Okay, moving on. So, yeah. Fremont Street, the South Point. Oh, yeah. And the Silverton. Honorable mention going to the Orleans. That is where these people are congregating. But mm-hmm. I have been at Planet Hollywood, and they're fucking everywhere, too. The classier ones, granted. But still, everywhere. You go to the bars. The rodeo is on. The things. All the TVs. All the TVs yeah. have the rodeo, which, uh, I mean, again, I'll get in, into this a little bit more later, but I don't understand why anyone is watching the rodeo in the year 2012. I understand, maybe 40 years ago, entertainment options were s- sparse. <laughs> so a guy riding a horse around a barrel seemed like the coolest thing you've ever seen. He this is, he has been on this tirade now. All it's week. dumb. Also, they're all dressed like cowboy. Cowboy is not even a job in the year 2012. We have robots that do it now. I assume. You're probably right, but I don't really think you should be that this upset about it. I just I get this upset about it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have I don't have another level of upset. I just have the you, most you upset. You get hyper focused on one thing, yeah. and so all week that's all I've been hearing about. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. So we'll talk about it more later. Mm-hmm. Uh, what are your thoughts in general on on cowboys? I know that some women have like cowboy fetishes. They're mm. way into it. Yeah. Is that your you deal? You know, I have a little bit of a sweet spot for cowboys because uh, just where I grew up yeah. and having horses. My my grandparents big big huh. cowboys. Yeah. People. Yeah. Um, so, you know, I have a little soft spot for them. Let me tell you what I don't have a soft spot for. Uh, these cowgirls. I yeah, really feel I like s- the current crop of uh, female country music stars mm-hmm. have really given people this S- untrue notion. False yeah. sense of Absolutely. what a cowgirl is. That is not what's happening not out everyone there, looks folks. Like Carrie Underwood. No. I promise. No, they look like Carrie Underwood when she was on American Idol, all right? <laughs> Bloated. 
<laughs> not fixed up publicist Carrie Underwood. Yeah. Uh, a whole lot of tight jeans that look like they are just like Pillsbury biscuit cans about to boof, boof A lot of muffin everywhere. tops and belt oh, buckles. Oh my god. And, and the rowdy as shit. Everyone's still into the like hyper bedazzled shirts. Ugh. You know, women. It's It's been a bad so. week. So that's what we're going to be talking about. We're going to be talking about a very eventful weekend. I have a lot to be upset about. Oh. We're going we're gonna to get into it. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, so I hope you guys check it out, dudiaries.com. I mean, are we just supposed to pretend he's not... Come on. He, he doesn't mind. Can he not be on next week? Well, we'll just ask, ask the public and see what their vote is. Here we go. He looks like he's, if a dog was a stoner. Right <laughs> like if a dog could smoke a bunch of weed, he would be this dog in pajamas nodding off. He's so comfortable. You guys have no idea what he's like without clothes on. He just runs around and obsessively plays with his toy Rips it apart, follows me everywhere. So this is a nice change of pace. Stop. All right. Well, clearly you two need some privacy. So why don't we go <laughs> ahead and stop this video? Uh, we'll pick up the conversation later on the podcast. Thanks, everybody. All right, sounds good.